Jay? Yeah. What the hell are you doing in the towel? I was swimming. Well, shouldn't you be in the kitchen, maybe whipping up some lunch? Isn't that right? Yes, sir, Mr. Whitehead. I'll get right on it. Get right to work. Jake. I waited for you in my room forever. I thought you'd at least want these back. Thanks a lot. Now I can get to work in the kitchen. I'll go with you. What? No. Why? So you can finally cook for me. I'm starving. <sighs> Go get ourselves completely lost and never come back. No, what are you talking about? I'm serious, Marco. I hate Jake. I never want to see him again. And cook until light and fluffy. Light and fluffy, more like thick and gooey. I need to hire a hitman around here. My food will kill everybody. I thought you'd always order out. I wouldn't worry about the rice. Even experienced cooks don't know how to make it. Is that why you stuck your head in here to make fun of me? Well, no. I, I just well, then, can't. what did you come here for, Megan? I mean, what do you really want? That's not too difficult a question, is it? What do you want? What are you doing here? I came to get some food. Isn't that a good reason to come to a kitchen? Food, huh? Yes. I mean, that's what people usually do when they're hungry. They, they eat. I thought maybe I could sneak in here and get some real food for a change. Real food? Is this like a cut towards my cooking or something? No! Well, a girl can't live on hash alone. Well, then you will be glad to know that I am changing the menu for tonight. Oh, really? What are we having? Macaroni, cheese, and a box? <laughs> Funny stuff. Funny girl. Well, could I have a piece of fruit or some cheese or something? You mean something that I don't have to cook, is that what you're saying? Hey, you said it, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Have a peach. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Delicious, in fact. Be careful, you get juice all over yourself. Come here. Just, uh... Thanks, Ken. Yeah, don't mention it. I get back to my recipe. So, why'd they leave you alone in the kitchen? Where is everyone? They all went down to the cove to, uh, work on the barbecue that they're doing tonight. Regular staff is gone. Barbecue? Yep. Mmm. Chicken and ribs and corn on the cob and cornbread. Easy, and... easy, little girl. You won't be eating any of that stuff tonight. That's about as close to Georgia cooking as you're gonna get. You know, you still are among Whitey's contingent, remember? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Could you do me a favor? Give me the, uh... I need that can of lima beans, please. Get it yourself. I mean, maybe Bo and Sarah have to eat your cooking to keep up with this charade, but I can't deal with it anymore. Fine, fine. You're gonna have to put up with it, though. And you know what? I remember when you still liked my cooking, especially my hash. That was before your palate became so, uh, sophisticated. I really don't even know why we're talking about food in the first place. Neither do I. Especially when we're in such danger here. You mean here? In the kitchen? Well, no, here on this island. And Vicky's in danger in land for you. I mean, she's never going to be able to stand up to the syndicate. I mean, not by herself if we don't do something about stopping them here. You're probably right, but... We do. Right. So, I think that we should probably find that drug lab where they're processing all the drugs. What are you saying? Well, you're around a lot of the cooks here. I, I mean, maybe you could start talking No, 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 no. Enough. What? What are you saying exactly? I mean, you, you didn't come down here for an afternoon snack or to chit-chat about all the bad guys here at Batalina, did you? You came on down here for something else. So spit it out. What do you really want from me? I came here to get something to eat. Thanks for the peach. Nice try, Megan. 
You got a need for something else, and it's not an afternoon snack. Am I right? Well, how would you know? You're too busy playing touchy-feely with Charlotte. <sighs> Give me a break. You know why I'm doing that. It's to get information out of her. Oh, and it's so much pleasure, isn't it? Rubbing up against her like some kind of eager tomcat. Talk about lame excuses. At least I have an excuse. Try to justify why Marco Dane's got himself draped all over you every five seconds. We have to keep up the act. It's that or get ourselves killed. Marco Dane is a friend. Of course, I can't expect you to understand what that is. I understand that, Megan. It's just, it's Marco. I don't think he grasps the whole concept of it, you know? He's too busy grasping at you. Well, what do you care? You've made it very obvious that you don't have anything to do with me. Hey, you said the same thing. That's the way you felt about him. Am I, am I right? Isn't that what you want? It was all for the best, is what you said. Well, it is. Okay, then. Fine, that's the way you feel about it. All right, well, if that's the way you feel about that's it. That's the way I feel about it. Now, I gotta get back to my cooking. You go ahead, go back to Marco. Okay, fine. Make sure you give Charlotte some of that rice. I'm sure she'll love it. She's just as lumpy. Yeah, well, at least she has all the lumps in the right places, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, if you want your lumps, you got them. Bon appetit. Fine. Ah! Still. It's not that Jake. big a deal. It's just a burn. Just I'm shut up. I know it hurts. Not half as much as Lucky's gonna hurt when I get a hold of him. Make me a chef. Oh, why do you have to do that? <laughs> well, I'll leave it to Lucky to make the wrong choice. It's so funny. It's not like with, with a little practice I could With a little practice, do... you'd be a really terrible cook. <laughs> well, I'm no Julia child, but at least I got an excuse for being on the island, and that's all that counts. Why? Why? Why what? What do you mean? Why are you on the island? All you had in Landview was an SOS note taped on Tweety's foot. You had no way of knowing what was happening here. And yet you risked your life to swim all the way to the island? Well, I had more than just an SOS. I mean, Lucky said uh, he was in danger. He needed me. How'd you put that earlier? Spit it out and tell me why you're really here? I told you why I'm really here. Lucky said that you were in danger and that you needed my help, so I didn't give a damn about anything else. I came to get you. I guess it's getting kind of hot in here, huh? Yeah. You know the old saying? If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Does that help? Yeah. Feels good. How about you tell me? Yeah. That's good. 